Can there be justified anger? No, never. <laughs> so, so, no, there is never a justified anger. All anger is the result of you pretty much not meeting your addictions or ha not having your addictions met during your childhood. Mm -hmm. right? And either way, we've got to feel the anger. Yeah. We've got to feel it, but we need to get under the anger and into what the fears and the, that, that drive the addictions are. And it's never justifiable to be angry. Even if, even if someone's harming someone else or someone's harming your children or any of these particular things, it's ne anger is never justified from God's perspective. Mm -hmm. Anger is always harmful and it's a direct result of you having some fear-based beliefs. So it's always the avoidance of a deeper emotion. It's always is the that... avoidance of deeper fear. Yeah. Always. And you're always avoiding something when you revert to anger. Yeah. So from God's perspective, there is never a just, there's no reason for you to get to, to be angry. So therefore, there is never a justified anger. Yeah. You will get to the point, once you become at one with God, that you will never get angry, in fact. Mm -hmm. and so you will never justify it because you never get angry anyway. <laughs> yeah. And you never get angry in that state because you're in a state of love. But not only that, more importantly, you're in a state of truth. And when you honour the truth and then you feel the truth in you, you never get angry after mm -hmm. that. So in between now and that time, you may get angry, but it's not justified. Yeah. Is it true that we must feel it's justified in order to get angry? Like we have a false belief that it is justified or we can be angry and not really feel that it's justified? True. Yeah. And uh, the reality is we can be angry and not feel it's justified. Yeah. Where we could feel, oh, this anger is in me. I need to let it out. I need to go and bash something and, you know, you know, yell and scream or whatever, let this anger out. But we also understand that this anger covers some deeper things mm -hmm. and it's not justifiable for me then to project that anger at another person. Yeah. Like that, that just harms the other person. Now I'm harming someone else. I'm involving someone else in my own pain. Mm -hmm. That's not justified ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not ever justified to involve another person in your own pain. You need to learn to take full responsibility for your own pain. That's the only way you're going to feel it. So, so it's not justified to feel anger under any circumstances at all. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's, and that statement is going to confront a lot of people because mm. a lot of people on the planet believe that anger is justified under all sorts of circumstances. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if someone kills your child, anger is justified. If someone, if someone dies around you, that your anger is justified. It's not justified. You need to feel it. Yeah. But it's not justifiable. Yeah. It's all the result of false beliefs that you've imbibed that have now become an emotional in, emotions of fear inside of you and, and that's what's driving your anger. So it's not justified from God's perspective. Mm -hmm. it, God's not saying don't feel it. God's saying it's just not justified that you have it. Yeah. You, you can not have it yeah. and once you, once you have the truth from God inside of your soul, you won't have it. Once you have God's love inside of your soul to the point of alignment with God, you won't have it. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be justified ever. Yeah. And I find that this whole concept of justified anger is what causes war. Mm -hmm. It's what causes most family-based conflicts. It's what causes a lot of disharmony in families. It what, it's what causes most, most, most uh, acrimonious uh, family breakups, you know, yeah. marriage breakups. And it causes most other problems on the planet, actually. Mm. This, this concept that I'm allowed to be angry because you yeah. did something. So you're really saying that when, as soon as we justify anger, we then are more apt to justify unloving actions taken in anger. Of where course. We use it to, um, to justify, yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. We use it to justify all sorts of very damaging behaviour, mm -hmm. manipulative behaviour, unloving behaviour, lie, lies. We use it to justify all sorts of things, mm -hmm. this anger that we think is justifiable. We're then taking a whole heap of unloving actions, none of which are justifiable. Yep. Like from God's perspective, every time you take an unloving action, it's never justified. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you believe the cause is, it's never justified. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what's happened to you, it's never justified. That's why every single unloving choice that you make will have to be compensated for in some, and at some future time. God's laws will demand it of you, in fact. Yeah. And, and because God's laws all state that, uh, that this, uh, anything that's unloving that occurs is not justified. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what you think is justified. Like you can tell yourself, oh, the whole world does it, so that's why I did it. It's not a justification. Mm -hmm. From God's perspective, that's just your fear of the world. Mm -hmm. you, know? well, you can tell yourself that, oh, I protected my wife from 
you know, feeling that I didn't love her because I didn't tell her that I cheated on her or something. And, and then, you know, and I did it because I was angry because she, you know, slept with somebody yeah. before, you know. And, and that's not justified. Yeah. You know, it's not, it was an unloving action you took. From God's perspective, you're going to have to pay the penalty of that unloving action through, through emotional processing that you're going to have to do. And, and, and none of it was justified. Mm. Uh, it doesn't matter what your wife did. She might have slept with 25 people. <laughs> Makes no difference. It's not justified your response. Yeah. All right. Unloving actions are never justified. It doesn't matter what the cause, mm. what you believe the cause is. They're never justified. And, and once we stop justifying them and just feel the pain of them, yeah. we'll find that everything in the world will work a lot better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and everything in our life will work a lot more harmoniously as well. It's, it's this constant justification of rage and anger that causes wars, that causes death, that causes abortions, that causes all sorts of things. And we need to stop doing it. If we're really going to be loving, we need to stop justifying unloving behaviour. Yeah. And anger is an unloving behaviour. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Yeah. yeah. We will have to go through anger, however. So I'm not saying we won't have to go through anger. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to at some point feel angry about things that have happened to us because that, that will help us find our addictions. Yeah. It will help us find our fears. We need to go through the emotion. Yeah. But I'm not saying that the emotion itself is justified because it's not. Mm -hmm. you'll get to the point where you don't feel it mm -hmm. and it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay.